The importation of Chinese trucks into Tanzania has significantly increased in recent years as more people continue to show interest in Chinese-made vehicles. Now, leaders of the two countries recently agreed to enhance cooperation. Our statistics indicated that last year, the trade volume between China and Tanzania reached almost $7 billion. Now, despite the positive development, lack of financial support is deterring many Tanzanians uh, from venturing into the truck importation business. Here's more details of that in this report. Chinese heavy-duty vehicles are increasing on Tanzanian roads. Ringo Mo has imported them since 2018, benefiting from the growing trade volume between China and Tanzania. With a portfolio of five brands, the former banker says demand for trucks and trailers from China is growing. They are constantly improving the quality of their products, which in a way increases their, their, their customer base in our market. So I would say right now their market share could be in the range of 40 to 45. They are still pushing the button. Economists say setting up assembly plants for various Chinese goods is the natural step in the evolution of trade relations between China and Tanzania. When you live alone, the, 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 the payment of tax and uh, saving us from employment to rumble, that means uh, we'll be able to you know, uh, do a technology transfer from China to here. That means we'll be raising more expert, expertise in, in, in doing such kind of stuff. And uh, obviously, if you have a plant in here, you'll be accessing a very big market. That means we'll be advertising Tanzania to the neighboring countries. Statistics show that in 2021, the trade volume between Tanzania and China reached almost $7 billion, up around 47% year-on-year. The leaders of the two countries recently agreed to work together to increase this number further. Ringo sells an average of 200 Chinese manufactured trucks a year. Increasing demand among Tanzanian buyers has him optimistic that he will double this number within the next five years. Despite his success, Ringo says a lack of access to capital is making it difficult for Tanzanians eager to start and grow a business like his. It's very, very tough. You know, these are capital intensive machines. It's not something cheap that you can buy like tomatoes. No, you have to put massive investment, minimum a reasonable uh, capital for this kind of business not less than two, three, four million dollars. Chinese auto companies have already started investing in vehicle assembly plants in Tanzania, with more showing interest. Ringo says he hopes that expanding trade between the two countries will continue driving success for business people like him well into the future.